Welcome to APHIS eFile. In this video, we're going to walk through how to apply for animal products and organism and vectors permits using the VS Permitting Assistant and 16.3 application. Once you have logged in using your e-authentication, you can use the Ready to Apply dropdown to select VS 16.3 to begin the application process. The first step when applying is completing the VS Permitting Assistant to learn what the requirements are to move your materials. To begin, search for your materials, filter based on their characteristics, and add them to your request summary. A detailed VSPA video is available if you need guidance on how to complete this section of the 16.3 application. Once you have added all the materials you wish to move, proceed to the request summary page where you can see a summary of all the applications, letters, and certificates. If a permit is required, click proceed to application. If your request summary resulted in more than one application, you will see the split application notice that lists each resulting application, its associated materials, and cost. You will then be directed to the My Activity page. The application that you are working on automatically populates to the top of the list. Click the application number to navigate to your application. You will then be directed to the VS 16.3 application. To complete your application, fill out each of the application chevrons or sections. Hover over the tooltip icons for more information about a section. Starting with the Responsible Party section, confirm all the responsible parties on your application, including the applicant, permittee, and delivery recipient. On the Supply Chain Exporter Chevron, indicate who your exporters are. Exporters are the companies who will be shipping your commodities. On the transportation chevron, identify the ports associated with the movement of your material. This section will not show for interstate applications. You have the option to select more than one mode of transport. On the material chevron, enter detailed information about each material in your permit request. Your VSPA selections are available here. You can select and add your details to each of your materials. On the Upload File Chevron, you can upload any additional files that you would like to include in your application. This is optional. On the Review and Submit page, review all the information you have entered on your application, then Certify and Proceed to Payment. Choose and enter your payment details to complete the application. Payments are non-refundable and are required before applications are processed. Pay and follow the steps to complete your payment. Congratulations! You submitted your application. Your application is now being reviewed by APHIS. You will receive an email notifying you once your application has been processed.